I'm sure we all remember old crazy Uncle Joe telling us to get rid of that dangerous AR-15 and go out and buy ourselves a shotgun and fire it out the backyard at the bad guy and just scare him away. And those of us that knew better realized how ridiculous that was because a shotgun is a very effective weapon and tool. I had a Sega 12 at the time that he said that, so I really laughed at that. It, the Sega's come sporterized. I converted it over. I sold that one, regretted it, so I bought another Sega 12. And I kind of added some things onto the this Sega 12 because you can't just leave a gun alone obviously so I put the Chaos Rail on the HK sights and the uh, Chaos muzzle brake and, and different things on it and I dressed it up pretty good and it's one of my favorite guns to shoot now I just really enjoy a 12 gauge shotgun especially a semi-automatic although they're all fun I've got several pump shotguns as well your average you know Remington 870s and stuff the KSGs and Shotguns are just a satisfying, that kick that they have and the variety of loads that they have. They've always reminded me of like the English Mastiff of the gun world. They're, they're big and they're not the fastest or anything, but they're just a lot of fun. They just dwarf your average little AR-15. But not that they're the biggest gun in the world, you know, they're not a 50 BMG or anything, but a 50 costs a lot to shoot and it needs a big range. Whereas a shotgun, you can shoot cheap and shoot it anywhere, have a day of shooting with it. Anyway, to the point of this one, I have the Sega 12 on the right. And then I saw this Cheetah 12. I got it for $400, and because it accepts all the Sega accessories, I figured why not? I got the drums and every magazine for it, and so this is how it comes. It's imported from China, for, from SDS, and it doesn't have to be converted. It's already in that configuration. First thing I did do was remove the buttstock because it's set up to do that. Just to thread on an AR-15 style buffer tube, and then you can throw on uh, AR collapsible buttstock on there so that's the first thing I did to this shotgun and then I had a quad rail laying around from an old Sega that I had and so I threw the quad rail and a little foregrip on there and I'll probably just leave it like this leave the sights and everything keep it fairly simple as is it's not an expensive gun it's not to be confused with the old Catamount Furies that came from China those were sporterized also and I remember seeing those for cheap at the time but Figured I'd get this one, and like I said, it is imported from China, and it was, I think, DDI, which was Destructive Devices Incorporated, which is a ridiculous name, and initially they had issues with their bolts, from what I heard. In these new Lynx and Cheetahs, the bolts are hammer-forged, and that's supposed to fix some of the problems but I still think there's concerns with the bolt carriers being cast and so I'm going to keep an eye on on this particular piece of the gun and see what kind of wear I get as is right now I haven't fired it a whole lot but I've fired mostly heavy loads through it buckshot and slugs and that's what it's looking like but uh, some of the features that this shotgun has like the Sega 12 it has a tab for the bolt hold open and it's also got uh, little detents for holding that dust cover on because that's where your sight is so it's supposed to make it more stable as you're shooting it. It's got an AR-15 style safety selector on it. Unlike the Lynx which is what they have now it's got more traditional AK style like the Sega does but the Cheetah has a left side charging handle which is not a big deal to me because I'm left-handed so I kind of prefer the other one. I used to have to spend a lot of money to get your Segas and stuff set up like this so it's a selling point for righties I would assume especially it's got a uh, here's the internals of the shotgun it's got a little trigger pack in there uh, the dust cover is built onto the recoil spring there because that 12 gauge is so big a little buffer on the end there there's your chamber and the front of the gun has a fiber optic sight mounted to it and you got a long sight radius because the rear has a peep sight right on that dust cover there they're both plastic. I've heard cases I'm falling off, but mine's doing good so far. An adjustable gas system. If you don't clean it a lot, that'll get stuck, but I've found that it works really effectively, and I've been able to fire whatever I want out of it. But that's enough. Here's a quick little blurb of me shooting some buckshot at a washing machine. Hope you enjoyed it.
And now, because it's an irresistible feature of my phone editor app, here's a little bit of music.